Hi, I'm Amy from White Acres and I help businesses make sure that what their business looks like is just as good as what they offer so that people can see just how good that really is. Today we're back to the 11 colour series. So colour is really important in design. There are only 11 basic colour tones, although there are millions of colours. I haven't got the headphones plugged in. <laughs> Hi, I'm Amy from White Acres and I help businesses make sure that their business image looks just as good as what they offer so that people can see just how good that really is. Today we're back to the 11 colour series. Colour is really, really important in design. There are only 11 basic colour terms, although there are millions of colours. So it's essential to spend some time looking at the colours that you're using in your business and making sure that they create the right impression. This instalment is all about the colour pink. Pink is a colour that I don't really care very much for. I remember when my daughter was born feeling really frustrated about the amount of pink clothes available and how buying clothes in different colours like green and blue and red and yellow was really hard. It's still a bit of a problem now, although I've got much better at knowing where to go. But of course now she really loves pink so I've had to accept a bit of it into our home. And finding something pink to wear today for this video was a real challenge for me. Pink is soothing, it's peaceful and soft and it's feminine, but too much of it can be physically draining. It's about nurture, warmth, tranquility, love, sexuality and survival. I wrote about red before, a really strong, action-taking, passionate colour, and pink is a tint of red, but rather than stimulating us, it's more relaxing and gentle, naive and compassionate. Pink is the only colour which is actually a tint of another colour, rather than just being a colour in its own right. It's not known as light red, like light blue or light green, it's known as pink. If there's a deep pink with more red in it, then this can be exciting and fun, passionate, energetic, frivolous and confident. If there's less red, then it's more delicate and mature, nurturing, innocent and calming. Pink is a great colour for the fashion and cosmetics industry because it conveys femininity in a way which no other colour can. It also represents nurturing. My client Grow Up Green sells cloth nappies, which is not only an environmentally friendly green business, but it's also a very nurturing business as it's all about providing the best for your child and for your mum and for the earth. And nappies are bought mainly by the mums, so femininity was really important. So pink was a perfect colour to team with green for this business. Pink is also a really hopeful colour. It's positive, inspiring and comforting. It calms and reassures us and eases our feelings of anger, aggression, neglect or abandonment. And with the feminine nurturing connotations of pink, this makes it the perfect colour to be used by various women's charities such as for breast cancer. Pink has a really calming effect on our nerves and it can create physical weakness in large con quantities, which I suppose is a positive and negative pink depending on where you want to use it. It's not a threatening colour. Pink is about seeing the best in everything. Think of rose-tinted spectacles and you know everything being rosy. It's really positive. Not to mention feeling tickled pink, which means that you're delighted, or being in the pink, which means that you're really, really healthy. Teaming pink with dark colours like dark blue or green, grey or black can give pink strength and elegance. But if you use it with lighter shades, maybe like pastels, then these colours will create a more feminine, calming impression and more balance to create relaxation. So I'd really love to know do you have pink in your branding and what colours do you use it with? And if you don't, do you like pink? Um, are you attracted to pink companies? Is there any business that really stands out for you as a really great user of the colour pink? There's actually quite a lot of them. So if you could just comment below and let me know, that would be really great. And I'll see you for the next video next week.